Hey everybody, it's Craig for Get Out There Magazine at the start line of Raid the Hammer 2018. This year's Raid the Hammer was as popular as ever with a ton of teams in each of the full and half rate distances and Water Down High offered lots of room for both events. Teams of three for the full rate headed out first and an hour later half rate teams of two or three loaded the buses for a trip to the start line. That start line was Hidden Valley Park south of Highway 403 in West Burlington. Immediately we were in scramble mode for the matrix section, the only time when teammates are allowed to be separated. Sprinting isn't usually all that important, but some speed sure helps when dozens of people are all heading to the same spot at the same time. It's a good way to separate teams on the course. We survived the first matrix, we're all back together again. The next section took us up Hidden Valley Road and into the Grindstone Creek Valley. This is a perfect spot for a raid. The course was set up like a half pipe and teams spent the next hour or more running up and down alternating sides of the steep gorge. The climbing is tough, but each trek to the other side meant a creek crossing and there was no point in trying to stay dry. Dealing with cold water might be tough, but that's part of what makes Raid the Hammer the epic event it is. I counted eight crossings and only the final one was on a bridge. Oh, that's cold! Little bit of a bouncy bridge! At least we're not in the water again. Well, the river crossings are all done now, and we're in some well, beautiful we, areas. That part is Okay, we are uh, 10 checkpoints in, and we had to pick up a new map for the rest of the race. This particular area is my nemesis, as I always find it hard to navigate in here, and that's why teamwork is so important for this event. We get to play off each other's strengths. Okay, the finish of this race was a little matrix, and I'm here at the finish line still waiting for my teammates. As has become a tradition, food trucks with delicious meals were included in the registration fee. And towards the end of the race, thinking about this is pretty much what keeps me going. To top it all off, each entrant received a red Don't Get Lost t-shirt, and it's something we can wear proudly all year because Raid the Hammer is fun, but it's also tough, and that makes for great memories. Check out don'tgetlost.ca for a wide variety of races held all throughout the year. I'm Craig for Get Out There Magazine. I hope to see you out there sometime soon. Well, I didn't have to wait too long. Here are the stragglers now.